Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to tell you today about how the Zimbabwean government, the current Zimbabwean government, needs to extradite Mengistu Haile Mariam. Okay, Mengistu Haile Mariam has been living in Zimbabwe since 1991. He was granted asylum by Robert Mugabe. But since Mugabe has been overthrown, the Manangagwa government needs to extradite him. Let me explain why, okay? Mengistu Haile Mariam came to power in 1974 in Ethiopia, and he was dictator over Ethiopia. He was a Marxist and communist, and anybody who didn't adhere to his ideology, or he was suspected that didn't adhere to his ideology, he killed, or he ordered the killing of them, and he knew the killings were going on. When he first took office and he made his speech, he had a bottle of blood, and he threw the bottle of blood onto the concrete, and the blood spilled. That was symbolic as to how his reign was going to be. And he killed several Ethiopian Korean War veterans because they fought against communism in the Korean War. And he was, and Mengistu Haile Mariam was a communist himself. He denied Ethiopia's involvement in the Korean War because he developed close ties with North Korea. He basically shunned ties with South Korea during that time, which is why a lot of South Koreans do not know about Ethiopia's involvement in the Korean War. But more and more South Koreans are becoming aware of that, which is a good thing. Um, he killed several people and put their bodies in front of the bus station so people traveling um, could be intimidated by it. That's how cruel and ruthless of a dictator Mengistu Haile Mariam was. He used hunger as a weapon. And there's evidence, according to the book Mugabe and the White African by Ben Freeth, that Mengistu Haile Mariam taught Mugabe how to rule with an iron fist. And he taught Mugabe how to use hunger as a weapon. So, extradite Mengistu Haile Mariam. He needs to stand trial. He was tried in Ethiopia when he wasn't present at the trial, but he was tried in Ethiopia in 2006 for his war crimes. And Mengistu Haile Mariam was sentenced to death in 2006. It was originally life imprisonment, but he was re-sentenced to the death penalty. Okay? If Mengistu Haile Mariam wants... I mean, sorry. If, if Emerson Manangagwa wants to engage with the world and engage with the West and, and be a democratic form of government, this is one of the first things they need to do because Mengistu Haile Mariam was about as undemocratic as they came. I mean, he definitely was. He killed at least 500,000 people possibly more. He tore up records of Ethiopia's involvement in the Korean War. He burned soldiers' medals and just basically denied it. And he killed people, like students that, students that protested him, he killed. I mean, this is just how ruthless of a man he was. Anyway, so if I was doing well, I'll take care. God bless him. Bye-bye.